Hey everyone, Rob Reno here from Visionary Family Ministries, and I want to speak to the married couples out there right now. If you have never gotten into the habit of praying together as husband and wife, now is the time to start. You know, Amy and I have been married for 25 years, and the first 13 years of our marriage, we hardly ever prayed together. I was a pastor during those years, and so of course, as a pastor, I'm in prayer meetings, you know, all day and very, very spiritual. Uh, and so by the time I get home, I'm all prayed out, you know, no more prayers left for Amy. Well, of course, both those things were, were not true. But really, we had 13 more or less prayerless years in our marriage. And it was 2007 that God really worked a miracle in my heart and turned my heart to my ministry, to my wife, to being a spiritual blessing and a spiritual encouragement to her. And the number one thing that we started to do after that time was to pray together uh, each night before bed. Now, we work with couples all over the world, and the vast majority of even Christian couples are struggling to pray faithfully and consistently with each other. So during this uh, unusual time of quarantine, of stay at home, I want to encourage you to get this practice of husband and wife prayer going in your marriage. Husbands, uh, you just uh, awkwardly take a bumbling step. You can go to your wife right after you see this video and just say, hey, would it be okay if, if I prayed for us right now? And when I pray, I will just think about what Amy is uh, dealing and what she's facing in her life. Ask for God's help for her. Ask for God's strength in her life. Uh, I want to shoulder whatever burdens that she's dealing with in prayer. We want to give God thanks. We want to confess our sins. Sometimes our prayer time is 15 seconds. Sometimes our prayer time is 15 minutes. Uh, even this morning before I recorded this video, Amy sent me a text. Rob, how can I pray for you today? What burdens are you dealing with today that I can pray for? What's going on in your life that only God can answer? She also asked for, Rob, what are some character issues that you need prayer for? And it was so awesome for me to be able to go to Amy and give her some specific things that she could be praying for me for. Uh, in Amy's and my 25 years together, if we've learned anything about marriage, it's that our good intentions and our willpower are not going to get us through. We both have good intentions, okay? We both mean well, and we're both trying. I'm trying to be a good husband. She's trying to be a good wife. But we need the supernatural power of God in our lives, supernatural power of God in our hearts to change my heart, renew my mind, make me the husband that I'm not. Uh, we've even gotten pretty good at uh, praying in the midst of conflict. We'll be going back and forth, having an argument or a fight about something, and one of us uh, will say, I think we should pray. And <laughs> it's the last thing in the world that she wants to do. It's the last thing in the world that I want to do. Because when you pray together, you've got to lower uh, your guard. You've got to lower the wall of your heart toward each other, lower the guard of your heart toward God. Uh, but I've lost track of the number of times now that in the midst of conflict, when one of us puts on the brakes and says, hey, let's pray, and we go over and we maybe hold hands, a little awkward, um, one of us just says, Lord, help us. And we've had the Holy Spirit rush in and soften my heart toward her, and soften her heart toward me. We've been going around and around and around on something, and now all of a sudden there's an exit ramp that we didn't see before, and God is able to bring us to a place of forgiveness, a place of understanding, uh, and a place of having what was a, a conflict then becoming something actually that he uses to bring us closer together. So if you've never built in that daily habit of praying together as husband and wife, even if it's just 15 seconds, 30 seconds, this is the critical window to start. God bless you.